The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. The Chamber is now going to pronounce the decision. After having heard the parties on the question raised this morning, which was, are civil parties allowed to question the accused and the witnesses called to testify at the part of the hearing that is entitled, according to the scheduling order, The Chamber decides by majority, Judge Lavergne dissenting as follows. Civil parties are not allowed to ask questions to the accused relevant to the character and to the following witnesses appearing under the following pseudonyms or names, KW34 and Francois Zironi Gilbo, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, Christopher Lapel, Lapel D8, D8, and D14. The written decision, the including the reasons the motifs, of the majority and the, uh, the minority, uh, will be issued in due course. The time allocation Les for the co-prosecutors and the defense to question the accused on his character will be one hour and 15 minutes each. The parties will be informed of the time allocation for specific witnesses next week, which is Monday next week. Lundi. The Chamber will now proceed to hear the questionings and responses in relation to the character of the accused. The security personnel are now instructed to take the accused to the dock. The President, Maître we note Roux, that Mr. François Roux is on his feet. You may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. François Roux, thank you, Mr. President. At this uh, stage, the defense wishes to ask the Chamber that it read out the de paragraphs in the indictment relative regarding what has been titled as personality elements, that is to say, paragraphs 162 to the end of uh, this order, and I'd like to remind you that at the beginning of this trial, when the greffier read out the indictment, the defense asked that the paragraphs regarding personality also be read out, and the chamber answered that this would be done when, we were, when this issue of personality is brought up. So, therefore, now, uh, as we're going to be dealing with this problem. question of personality, it would be suited to read out the appropriate paragraphs.
เอากินไหมสตูลในสำนักระบบ President the chamber now accept the request by the defense council. The greffier psychology is now instructed to read part of the closing order by the co-investigating judges from uh, paragraph 162 to 170. Part 3, character information. A. Early life. Paragraph 162. Dutch was born Donc, on 17 né, November 1942 in Pauwe village, Bimbang Sap district, Stone district Bimbang, in Kampong Thom province. His father deceased in 1990 and his mother still living. They were poor pe peasants of Chinese origin. Dutch appears Donc, in the register of birth under the name Kang Chiu when he was two or three months old. His name was changed to Yum Chiu under the advice Jiu. of a fortune teller. Since he did not Comme like this name nom, at the age of 15, ans, he asked his father to change it again. He took this opportunity to modify his date of birth to appear younger in order to register for school. Henceforth, his new identity would be Kang Gat Il, born on the 15th of February 1945. During the Khmer Rouge period, he assumed and was referred to by his alias, Dutch. However, when he lived in China from late 1986 to July 1989, he asked to be called Hong Pen. Paragraph 163. Dutch was the eldest Of five children and the only son, he got on well with his parents and sisters. He often appears to have been ill when he was small, with what he called illnesses caused by poverty and living in the countryside. He began school late at nine years of age. A good pupil Bonne who élève, simultaneously feared and was fascinated by his teachers, enormes, whom he respected highly, he completed his schooling successively at the Kampong Thom Juni High School, followed by high school in Simriep and at Lycée Sisovat in Phnom Penh, where he passed his baccalaureate in 1964. B. Personal, professional and political evolution. Paragraph 164. In 1965, Dutch was appointed as a mathematics teacher at the junior high school in Skun. His students would later describe him as a sincere, devoted man always seeking to help the impoverished. This professional activity did not last long. However, as Deutsch was gradually becoming the revolutionary, that he was to remain for more than 20 years. From age 15, he had been attracted by political activism, having felt humiliated when he became conscious of his family 
social situation, especially when faced with the implacable demand of an unsurious uncle. In this respect, he was undoubtedly influenced by several of his teachers who denounced corruption and social injustice and, in particular, by one of his instructors, Kai Kumhut, who would later be executed at S21. Paragraph 165. Deutsch's family and emotional life was characterized by great stability, except for a morose disappointment during his youth, which he described as being important. Deutsch only mentioned one woman in his life. His wife, Chum Sopal, alias Rome, who was a garment maker. He explained that, with Thun Sen's approval, he had been able to choose his wife, whom he had met in 1974. Deutsch married her in 1976. when he was already chairman of S21. He would have four children, a girl born on the 27th April 1977, a boy born on the 14th of December 1978, another girl born on the 30th of June 1981 and a son born on the 28th of October 1985. Paragraph 166. After the 1979 capitulation, Deutsch followed in the wake of the Khmer Rouge for more than 10 years. He said, he wished to leave the movement, but was incapable of doing so, being a sort of prisoner of the regime in Samlod, where he arrived on the 30th of December 1979. His main task there was teaching. In October 1986, his superior, Son Sen, the head of Deutsch's unit of his K-18, sent him to China to teach Khmer to Chinese students. He remained there for two years and worked under the supervision of Son Sen's wife, Yon Yat. In 1992, after Pol Pot named him to oversee economic issues in Guam village, Thma Bu district, in the province of Ban Thi Mien Chie, Deutsch lost contact with his commanders. He explained that the rapture was progressive, as Khmer Rouge soldiers dispersed little by little as the war continued. He became a school teacher while trading in rice and breeding pigs. On the 11th of November 1995, in Pkwam, he was the victim of a mysterious burglary in the course of which his wife was killed by a bayonet wound to the chest. 
whereas he lui, was only slightly injured. Grièvement blessé. In this respect, Do Dutch alluded to a possible assassination attempt financed by Pol Pot. Pol Pot. After the death of his wife, Dutch started to attend meetings of the Evangelist Church of Batambang. He converted to Christianity in 1996 and has had his children baptized. He then returned to live in Samlot. Yet, during renewed Khmer Rouge combat activities against the government, the sub-district was evacuated and its population crossed over to Thailand. In July 1997, Dutch began to work for an NGO called American Refugee Committee, known as ARC, where he remained until his identification by journalists in May 1999. Shortly after that, he, uh, he was arrested by the Cambodian my, uh, military authorities. C. Recognition C. of responsibility. responsibility. Paragraph 167. Dutch has Dutch consistently has recognized his responsibility for the crimes committed at S21 under his command. He explained that he was led to speak out in 1999 because it was impossible not tell the truth about S21. After he heard that Paul Pot denied the existence of S21 and claimed that it was an invention of the Vietnamese. Deutsch has regularly expressed remorse to the victims and their families, but also to the S21 staff under his command. He stated that none of his personnel were volunteers or proud of what they had done, but rather terrorized and constantly in fear for their lives. Paragraph 168. Moreover, Dutch has cooperated willingly in the judicial investigation, neither attempting to implicate anyone who was under his orders, nor placing the blame on the upper echelon of the party alone in order to exonerate himself. When confronted with some of the inconsistencies in his testimony before the co-investigating judges, he indicated that they resulted from fear and embarrassment. He felt, when reminded of an extremely painful history of crime, Paragraph 169, 169. He noted in his defense, I joined Khmer Rouge in order to liberate my people and not to commit crimes. But that, from 1971 onwards, when I was forced to supervise M13, I became both an actor in criminal acts and also a hostage of the regime. 
Deutsch says that he only became aware of the criminal nature of the regime little by little, beginning when he saw people being evacuated and stripped of their private property, followed by the series of mass executions. He added that when mass arrests were carried out based on Koi Tun's declarations, he understood that those who served their own people could be arrested as opponents of the party. Explaining that he began to be concerned about and afraid for his life when Nguyen Chi arrested brother Nguyen Yu, alias Hong, and so Chia, followed by his superiors like Won Wei. Deutsch claimed all this led him to be paralyzed by fear for his life, wondering when it would be his turn. He claimed that as time passed, he was less and less able to do his work turning over all interrogations to Hall and simply sitting in the sculpture room, specifying that in the end he was terrified to the point that he slept day and night. Paragraph 170. Deutsch also claims that, despite many attempts, he never succeeded in escaping from his post, either during the regime or after his fall. He justified this by noting that he was subjected to constant surveillance and that escape would mean death for me and my family. The accused, say the president, can you tell the court about the, your biography from the day you were born until you were arrested and sent gradually until you reached the detention facility of the ECCC? You can tell the court about your personality, your family, your educational background and relations, or social interactions, or other matters you believe are important to tell the court. Please be reminded that uh, so far, some questions have already been put to you and that you have already stated uh, partially in the proceedings for the last couple of months regarding your character, but it, they have been part of the normal proceedings uh, in the court, but today it comes to the specific session for the character, the testimony on the character, so that the chamber can take it into account during the time when the verdict uh, is being rendered. So you may now proceed uh, as what has been requested. Je vous en prie. The accused. Mr. President, before I start uh, to tell the court about my uh, biography, I would like to correct uh, two words in this text. First, I went to China and I returned in 1988. Uh, in July 1988, not 1989. It was in ERN 
Je vous renvoie de Paragraphe 00212208 It was actually uh, July 1988, not 1989. And also, I would like to correct uh, another word, which is in the mid-up paragraph 165 uh, it was actually the date uh, in 1976 but may I change it to the 20th of December 1975 instead la date de mon mariage n'est pas 76 mais le 20 décembre 75 next I would like to now begin with uh, the telling of my biography from the day I was born. I was born in Poway. Uh, the president interrupts, uh, the accused uh, may be seated uh, since you are going to uh, talk uh, at length, so you are now allowed to be seated and then you can talk uh, while being seated. The accused. Uh, I was born in Po Wei village. It was a village in the jungle, and uh, it was uh, on the river. And the river, river, five kilometers from Chma River. There was a pagoda in the village, and the, the pagoda built on an island or a upper ground on the hill, I may say. My grandfather and the head of the Bowoi pagoda had been very close to one another. And the head monk of this pagoda treated me as a student. Moine supérieur de la pagode me. Five years later, after my birth, my parents had to leave the Pauvoy village. It was the native village of my mother. We go to the Kampong Tian sub district in Kampong Tom, which was Kampong Tom. About two kilometers from the stone market, the move was due to the insecurity in the Poway village. Était causé par l'insécurité qui régnait dans le village de Poway. I was a child who was constantly educated by my grandfather. Even during the time of my study, I was still with him, and I tried to study very hard. In 1955, 56, my apology, Cambodia gained independence in 1953, and after independence, the situation in Cambodia became better, because at that time, the ransom or the kidnapping dropped dramatically. In 1955-56, I was still in the primary school. I was influenced by two sources. One from China, although have Chinese Cambodians in Stung, and we there was a rumor that those Chinese people was wealthy due to the doctrination by the Maoist communism. The Chinese Prime Minister Chu Enlight came to visit Cambodia later on, and that was the influence upon me. The second source of influence was the local domestic influence. My ancestors always appreciated me that I was a good student and that when I grew up then I would not suppress their ignorance or uneducated sense. 
supportait pas also in une situation où je n'aurais pas été instruit en 1955 et 1956, mon enseignant, M. Kalkenbrot, m'a donné un livre à lire, un livre qui se découpait en One, deux parties. The Tout d'abord, de on parlait de la position des Paysans, like the farmer teacher, comme the workers, les or the, uh, some the driver, and the book on the democracy. Et il y avait and un another type of books were by the three commands, some of them, for instance. Some so my teacher gave me all types of books. Livre. Et donc mon enseignant the, the m'a donné at the des ouvrages de différents types. Sang Sovat un livre Let de Sang Sowat, Tedio Krohom, c'est un livre, c'est le titre du livre également écrit par Sang Sowat, et Sang Sowat était colonel à l'époque, il a étudié pour acquérir des connaissances. À l'époque, lorsque je suis allé à Kampong Tom pour poursuivre mes études, j'ai continué mes Lay my hands et on. j'ai lu tout ce que je pouvais et j'ai également lu le livre de était érudit dans le domaine I du bouddhisme si j'étais bouddhiste et j'ai then I be like a study club never find members in there um, participé un groupe de lecture il y avait Uh, 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 et elle est And the rest of la the club members orale. are still alive. Et les autres membres de ce groupe sont toujours en vie. In 1962, en 1962, there was a rebellious activity at the lycée Cisowat. Um, I did not join that, um, the movement une activité de rébellion, time, je n'ai pas réagi ce mouvement à l'époque, mais le mouvement de grève et de manifestation était bouillonnant à l'époque, et je remercie me encore mon enseignant qui m'a protégé à l'époque, et en 1962, pendant la même année, Sonsen, j'ai fait la connaissance de Son Sen. He called me. He sent somebody to call me to meet me. And then I promised that only after I joined the movement, then I would consider my stance on the revolution and after I passed my final exam. So my knowledge gathering was flowing in and my decision to join the revolution was based on three parts. One, mon éducation se découpe en trois parties. Premièrement, I actually persuaded one woman to study mathematics with me, but she refused. Second, euh, d'étudier les mathématiques avec moi, mais I elle, went, I went elle to ne l'a pas fait. Elle a refusé time, un deuxième an, je suis allé étudier les mathématiques, et au cours de ses études, my was when on a volé I was still in the classroom. mon vélo, alors que j'étais, tout third, que j'étais euh, en classe. Troisièmement, Conducted the arrest of those who spread threats, local, and they were accused of traitors, and they were alleged of conducting a coup d'état to overthrow Sihanouk. Chai Kum Ho, who was my educator, was arrested, and among various other people. So, by observing those situations, I made my decision to enter the revolutionary movement. I knew at the time de la révolution, du mouvement révolutionnaire. Je savais que à l'époque, my teacher of culture, Kun Man, le biais de Kun Man. The joining of a revolutionary movement was like a spear. Once you come into 
a spear or a mortar, then you cannot remove yourself from it. And I knew that once I entered, there's no way for me to return. But my belief at that time was intense and was committed, because then the revolution had an option to service the country and to rescue the people. I noticed the changes in the, in the entire world. First it started with the Soviet Union, with Indonesia, who had the majority Muslim people, but overall it was taken over by communism. Uh, At that time, Nazakom was the organization that led Indonesia. Nazakom uh, arrived from Na, means uh, national. Le, le Za is an Islamic word, and Kom, that refers to communism. And I did become the president of Indonesia. So by observing all those situations, and by seeing that even the Islamic community could not stand the force of communism, and only the communism was the waves to override everything else. And that was the reason for my decision to join the revolutionary movement. And when I went to teach, I did not pay much attention to the teacher's wage. My focus was on the progress of the revolutionary affairs to help the poor students. At that time, we were allowed to live in a society that is a communist, a communism within a society of pluralism. For example, we gathered all our property when I received 7,000 reals per month for my wage. I gave 6,000 to Anka and I only kept 1,000 for my daily expense. I sacrificed everything. I ignored the need of my parents at home and I was very proud that I sacrificed for the revolution in order to uh, help the Cambodian people and the country. Aider les Cambodians et pour pouvoir aider le I pays. was at Skun. À Skun. My connection was à also at Skun. There were four of us. I was at Skun, Po Nghi at Ong Ta Saum, Ân Lon alias Na at Kampung Thom, and So Kum An at Kampung Thom. In this network, we call it the Core People Network, and I was the chairman of that, that network because I was so influenced in theory. But I was not a type of person who did not know anything about theory. The first book of theory that I studied and tried to absorb the knowledge was from Sip Elimentaire de la Ville, that is the the, pre the primary Il là philosophy of communism la de base by Joachim Pulitzer, who um, published un, a lot of uh, books on socialism. I tried to study that book very hard, and later on, I read books by Mao Zedong. So that was my way of trying to understand the theory, and my feeling was attached to it, and I remember one phrase by Mao Zedong, he said, the, the true love for the people is to, to give an absolute authoritarianism to a party, an authoritarianism absolute, and party. in a new democratic society, we have to Nous be absolute on the robbers, the thieves, vis -à -vis des voleurs, on the people who commit arsonies, and I reflected on this area. 
Well, it's one et of a, a good type. À cette so for a, an authoritarian regime, everything has to be absolute. It means there had to be an, a total elimination of those bad people, totale, like the robbers, for instance. At the end of his book, Mao Zedong said, allow the blossom of the 1,000 types of flowers. Il faut que and allow les the 100 euh, series of politics to compete each other. I was so satisfied euh, with that phrase. And when I looked at the discipline de, of the euh, Buddhism, I was also satisfied. Vis -vis de ma discipline bouddhique, moi It ce means we me do not have to revenge one another. But I think it's impossible And in the Christian autres, uh, religion or discipline at the time, the although my knowledge was limited, if you uh, slept on the left, then you give your right cheek for another slap. Si on vous donne une and I don't think it's, uh, it's possible to serve uh, the people with such a theory. So I still made myself involved in the movement. And on the 29th October, 29 October, 69, the party assigned me to go to settle in the forest and there was someone who took me from Phnom Penh to the forest. I met Koi Thuan at the Kampung Thom and at that time the messenger network was cut off in Kroche and then Koi Thuan transferred me to live at Chamkala with Kai A few days later, I was arrested by the government and imprisoned. And even if when I was imprisoned, I struggled from inside the prison, although it was not as effective as Lampeng. And after I was released, I still continued to make my movement. And in August, 1970, I left Phnom Penh to the liberated zone in Saang Kothom. That was the time I observed a peculiar situation in resolving the conflict by the party. It was the conflict between the Communist Party and the Workers' Party of Vietnam. The Vietnam Party assigned their force to come to administered the local authorities and established their organization in Ang Kok Thom, and it was called Sector 62. And the Ang Yang province was the authority to organize such administration at that level. Wang Khmer Kraum Chao Kaim, who was a party member of the Workers' Party of Vietnam, came to join the Communist Party of Campuchia. And people were shot. Another person was also shot, who was a tax collector. So I observed the conflict between Cambodian and Vietnamese. It was not on the stance of a camera to camera fighting together, shoulder to shoulder against the imperialists, uh, the U.S. imperialists, no. But they were superior than the Communist Party. And also during that time, people from the East Zone organized Sector 25 with Chao So Wan as the secretary and Sok Bon Chum Ran as the deputy. This Sok Bon Chum Ran had the original name of Muni. Muni. And after a while working together with him, he was arrested. And our force from Phnom Penh, one of us were, was killed, and two or three of us were arrested and imprisoned. And Zhao Chat fled to meet Von Vet. And Sisawat alias Chamran in intercepted and arrested him. So I saw the intense conflict um, within the party, and a police force was established by Mang Samnang, alias Teng, and I thought that if the, the leader was like that, then the police office which was established would be eliminated. 
I lived under the protection of a cadre from Hanoi named Sing San. The person was the general staff of the sector. And until May 1971, I fled that area to meet with Ward Wade. I remember that the police in the Khmer Rouge Start would be in the same fashion as the Khmer from the Isra uh, uh, era. It means they would be killed soon. When I arrived, I was asked to attend a training south of the PM village in Kampung Trola district. After that training, and on the 20 of July. 1970, Brother Hawk came me to work at the police office. I begged him not to go there because I believe it's going to be eliminated because if the chief of the police betrays, then the subordinates would be eliminated as well. But Brother Hawk insisted that no, the decision was made from the central committee and you wouldn't have no authority to make any arrest or to make any request for the arrest. You, you, you were only assigned to interrogate and then later on you might be assigned to smash people. And I told Brother Hawk that I would not be able to smash anyone. I begged him uh, and later on, I was assigned to be the chairman of the police office, and the smashing was their responsibility, and the police at M13 was organized by them. At that time, people were sent in, and I did not dare to kill anyone. So, the number of the detainees kept increasing, like a uh, stated uh, because I didn't dare, I did not dare to kill any of them. And that was the time I requested to create another M13B in order to receive those people, those incoming people. And in 1973, those people who I gathered in order to work with me, they rebelled and they took some guns and fled. And I believe that would be the best opportunity for me to remove myself. And then I went to appeal to Born Wade that I made a mistake and then that there was a rebellion and some of the cameras were injured and that would have a bad impact on the party and that I was responsible and that I should be sanctioned or disciplined. But but he did not look at my face, he was speechless. He didn't say anything. Then I said goodbye to him. And later on, some people were still sent in to be interrogated. And I thought probably that would be my fate. I was still thinking of the fate. And I also thought of the home that I learned. So if that's what, if that what my fate was, I, and that I could not avoid it, then I would just have to carry on with the assigned task. And that was the time. I saw the authoritarian view of the party. I recall the theory of the teacher promise that once you are into the circle, you cannot remove yourself while it's in motion. And I believe once the independence was gained, then I would be asked to be transferred to be a teacher again. 
est acquise, je demanderai that à euh, my thinking, ce que je disais, à I être réassigné pour un poste fulfilled un poste my duty, et but at the same time I was shocked of what happened. And at that time, cooperatives were started to be established. Et à cette époque-là qu'on a commencé à établir And des coopératives. And the direction for its establishment les instructions was not to allow the Vietnamese soldiers to bat rise from people euh, at their own will. Uh, and that the rice should be kept to, uh, for the supplies uh, to uh, our uh, soldiers. Um, and if they want to bat for rice, then they have to go uh, through the Communist Party of Cambodia. But actually, the deeper sense mm. was for Pol Pot Cependant, to have an overall control of the forces within the communities, within the cooperatives, through meetings, through monitoring, so that they have a full grasp of the total quality of rice at every cooperative, also in the studying materials and documents, which has a character of fascism and authoritarian, as shown in the revolutionary flag magazine. Et c'est ce que l'on voit, reads, euh, ce qui transparaît dans les revues révolutionnaires. For Je cite, source for the social stand, quelle que soit la ligne then de la view position sociale, la ligne de la position sociale, la ligne de la position sociale, And what is the, the class and the party line? The line was the workers' line. So if you are not in the workers' line, then you cannot be a member of the workers' line, and that you cannot carry out the duties of the workers' line. And if you cannot be in such a line, then you would be removed. So that study would would force people to make themselves to be part of the workers' line. And this is simply to work because otherwise you will be killed. And yes, indeed, people were killed. Vous, êtes, vous allez être exécuté et effectivement les gens ont été exécutés intellectuals des intellectuels who sacrificed qui to work in the se sont countryside to work in la campagne similar age to mind qui were arrested le même âge que euh, moi à l'époque ont été arrêtés um, Maori, for instance Maori, who was exemple, an author qui était un auteur He only studied up to the diploma certificate. Obtenu, il, He il was arrested at the Kampongsela school for no clear reason. So if you did not pour, raison, do what you were asked, you would be arrested. Si Songha Hun, the subordinate of Tamok, was also le arrested le and sent to M13. Tamok a également été arrêté et envoyé à M13. And that What I witnessed et personally, ce été the Hanoi cadres were arrested and also Hanoi sent to M13. There were a handful of them. M13, so if eux. I did not follow them, I et would si be arrested as well. Euh, pas, si je me pas aux instructions, moi, I strived to work hard. And I was in constant fear in order to survive to see my parents. So my purpose of liberating the people was instead to be part of a mechanism to killing people. And after the 17 April 75, I took the opportunity to meet Jay On while he was gathering workers, and he said, yes, I wanted you to work for me, and I would inform you later when I come next time. But on the 31st of May 75, I went to wait for him. He never turned up. À sa rencontre, mais il I said that will be the end of me. Et je me suis dit que cela va être And on the 20th of June, 20 June 1975, I was called for to study. Convoqué à une séance d'étude. After that study session, Après I met with the teacher. Then I returned to Omlea. 
formateur et je suis retourné à Amleang. And on the 15 of August 1975, he Make a presentation on the establishment of S21. Sur la création de S21. At that time, Nat became the chairman and I was the deputy and I was rather relieved because I believed that the majority of the, of the decisions would be made by the chairman. But then in March, Nat was removed and I was assigned to replace him. I could not protest, so I became further involved in that circle in motion of the mechanism. I knew I fell into the criminal mechanism and that I could not remove myself from it. From 69, I fled because I was fled by the party line by those who were involved with the party. But now the CPK constantly supervising me, and what could I say? I could not remove myself from this circle. Therefore, wanting it or not, I had to fulfill my assigned duty. My knowledge in theory Ma connaissance de la théorie was also uh, one of the quality uh, that makes that satisfy them and that that makes the subordinates appreciate my role and performance. Ou de mes and in the hein, ma in the final plan, as mentioned by David Chandler, dont fait mention. I myself, I believed I built people based on my conviction and commitment and probably only 10 good people were built by me because the extent and the scale of the crimes committed by the CPK was so wide and my ability, my capacity was so minimal, was negligible and that I could not achieve anything else in order to amplify my qualification. Number two, I was a very strict student meticulous so it was a kind of incentive and good qualification if this can be interpreted in my honesty in the party however if it can be interpreted in the way that crimes is committed then it would be a part of the very horrendous crime committed by doing that. Number three, actually, I know that uh, the confessions and my superior, Mr. Son Sen, did not even believe that the confessions were true. But still, we wanted to obtain confessions, so they are part of the crimes committed at S21, and all the crimes committed at S21 were under my complete supervision, and when people talked about a foreigner being burned alive, I was expecting to hear and to challenge the person who actually told uh, the court about uh, a person being burnt alive and after all as I indicated clearly no one could violate my policy or order. I did not really talk strongly or, or to the, my subordinates however Everyone had to respect my orders. My subordinates could pay a visit to their families, but I did not really have that opportunity to pay a visit to my parents. During meal time, I would uh, be joining them, but Ho uh, was uh, 
in favor of me that he gave me the dry meal or the dry food uh, on top of uh, what the other people could have. Uh, que je reçoive une ration un peu plus and uh, I may not uh, autres, uh, tell the court uh, more than that and I would like to leave the floor open for the chamber voilà tout ce à quoi je to maintenant. put more questions for further clarification if uh, the chamber so wishes. Si Thank you. The President, when you decided to change uh, the name, you used the name Dutch to replace your original name, because at the beginning you were called Kang Il. Can you tell the court when exactly did you change your name and what would have been the reason behind the changing of name? Response, Mr. President. In 1964, I joined the revolution. At that time, my name was remained unchanged. But in 1967, there was a secret session held. The location of the session was to the house near the Dans une maison, Mohamundray Pagoda. Près de la pagode and Mohamundray. at that moment that uh, everyone's name had to be changed Et to the revolutionary name. My name was changed to Doj Chai Kumho, changed to Hok, Nong Sarum, changed to Sang So Kum An, changed to another name while in Lon was changed to Nat, so on and so forth. And why I chose Dutch, I think I made it clear before the court already, because I would prefer a Cambodian name. I don't, I didn't like Chinese name, because I remember the last message left from my grandfather, because at that location, there was a Buddha statue that was really cowed by uh, the artist uh, Grandfather Dutch, who was very good at uh, carving the Buddha statue. That's why I uh, prefer the name. And uh, there was a situation when there was a person named Doj who was asked by the teacher to read a book and Doj was really a good student who was very obedient and loved by the teacher. So that's why I preferred the name because I thought it was really the Khmer name and good name. The president, uh, we have already studied uh, several documents, and through the debates, we have observed that uh, you used uh, the name Deutsch for quite a long time, but uh, can you tell the court whether you also have the surname for Deutsch, or was it required by the revolution that uh, people used only just one word other than having the first surname or family name? Response, Mr. President, at M13, it was the secret office so was the S21. My name would not be revealed publicly uh, in the party, so it was used uh, secretly. So I used Deutsch uh, alone, and I could not really use uh, my family name Kang uh, before Deutsch. So normally uh, it would be obvious that people would know who the person was, so Deutsch would be sufficient enough to keep the secret. 
et correspondait à cette nécessité de se président the reason you changed your name from kangkek il to the one word do besides uh, the secret purpose for the confidentiality within the party was it uh, supposed to be serving other purposes mais y avait-il d'autres raisons Response. There are two reasons. First, it's for the revolution. Number two, it is the Khmerization, or to make sure that I really use the real Khmer name for my name. The president, in your statement, that you made uh, just now, you showed your social status Dans and uh, involvement. And after you graduated with a degree que vous aviez uh, in teaching and you taught at the school lycée, you said uh, you did not pay great attention to the benefit from the, your profession as a teacher because you indicated that uh, you devoted uh, great proportion of your salary to help uh, the poor students and the other poor teachers. Can you tell the court uh, what kind of activities you had uh, done to manage uh, your salary and uh, to what extent uh, was your salary be used to sponsor those uh, poor people? Please give us some example of uh, how your salary was uh, managed. Response. Réponse. In helping the poor students, actually I chose a few students and I raised them. Then there was a brother of Nat also among them, and I had to cover their meal and I had to organize a student cooperative, what I call, and we bought uh, things from Phnom Penh to be sold for the students, and we bought at a higher price but sold at a lower price, and I covered the losses, and we did not make any profits, but we made profit only from supporting the students. And at uh, the school, th there was a school which was going bankrupt, uh, or maybe the situation was deteriorating, and student, uh, teachers were not really well paid, so I could help them by sharing my salary to substitute the very minimal wages of those teachers. And later on, uh, the situation was improved, and it was supported and that later on I could uh, manage to save some of the salary I earned or made from my teaching career. And I helped uh, two people at Skun, but they died already, but I don't want to reveal their names before the chamber. And this is how my salary was managed. And uh, as I informed uh, the court already that I did not really manage some money to support my parents, but instead support the poor. The president, uh, you had uh, already described or explained uh, to the court significantly. However, there are still some Vous avez donné déjà des assez à la chambre, thing else that the court would like to know. Because after 1979, uh, correction, after Ainsi, 
after you were arrested by the authority in I mean, at a later date, uh, but uh, could you please tell the court uh, what had you been doing after 1979 until the day you were arrested and detained at the mili military court before you were sent to the detention facility of the ECC? So please just uh, briefly tell the court uh, your role so on uh, what had uh, you been doing from 1979 uh, until the day you were arrested uh, by the Cambodian authority. But uh, we would be interested to hear only your involvement in the Khmer Rouge uh, forces. Surtout pour ce qui s'agit de votre euh, engagement auprès des Khmer Rouge après 79. As I already indicated uh, before, Comme je déjà dit, after the 7th of January get only the pistol and short. And at 2 p.m. we reached Son Sam Koksal Pagoda. We didn't sleep for two days. We didn't have any food or water. And uh, whatever people did, I didn't care. I only um, made myself to sleep and uh, gain some strength. At that time, Ta Mok was appointed at, as the Mok chief of the, chef the West Zone, de la zone West. on top of the Southwest Zone. En plus de la zone sud -ouest. And he demanded that uh, the combatants or the soldiers uh, were dispatched uh, to him, Devait but uh, Ho and other people uh, did not uh, want the soldiers to be dispatched uh, to the Mok and they intended to fight to the last minute. And a few moments later, I ran to Om Leng and the Mok ordered Brother Pal, Pal to really uh, give all the soldiers under my supervision to him. And then I um, managed to really gather those soldiers and uh, dispatch them to be under control of Tamok. Ils m'ont donc quitté pour euh, se on, mettre sous le commandement de Tamok. Uh, running until we Nous reached avons continué the south correction, the northwest zone, so that we could really get some rice to feed on. Brad Sarun later on became the secretary of the northwest. And uh, it was the moment that my former soldiers and forces in my unit uh, started to die and separated. So mourir, ou à se a lot of people died, including my uh, my in-laws and Donc nieces and nephews. Finally, it was I alone and my wife and two children, and we went to some load, very lonely, on the 30th. 
I asked uh, Brother Sarun so that I could uh, go and work si with Sumate. Su I was allowed to do so. But when I was about to uh, move, uh, move already, he was, I was asked uh, to come back. On m'a dit de faire demi-tour. And we could not move further anyway. After all, I end up uh, being with two mates. Uh, and uh, I was waiting for my brothers and relatives. But after all, I learned that they all died. I had uh, been with two mates uh, for some more months. Pendant quelques mois. After about... 12 months, Après or maybe 12 mois, less than a month, then Su made assigned me to be the chief Sumet of the transportation. De de and uh, he wanted me to be the commander of Division 75, uh, but 75 I did not want division, to uh, receive the offer. Mais je ne Sumed was rather upset uh, because Sumet I turned down his offer, but I didn't care. Je refuse, mais, uh, Later on, Sumed asked me to, uh, or called me to a meeting, Sumet and I was warned réunion, by him. Il mis en garde, and uh, he asked me to teach uh, demandé, his children. I taught his children de, and my children. About one year, Son Sen asked combien. me to meet him on the 25th of June 1986. I went there with Soumate, Bong, a brother Tet, so three of us went there. Uh, we were put to wait uh, by the receptionist. And uh, they asked us to wait uh, for uncle. I did not know who uncle it was. Then Son Sen appeared, and I saw him. And then he asked my name, and then I told him that my name was Pun. It was the time when I changed um, Dutch uh, to Pun. On the 26th of June, June, Le 26 I met juin, him. On, the, on September, I was asked uh, by him to go to China to teach uh, Khmer to students Khmer. there. I only came back in 1988, and I still worked uh, as the person Et who wrote uh, curriculums and under the supervision of uh, Son Sen's wife. And later on, I was assigned to uh, uh, work, uh, be in charge of economic uh, section at Guam. And then there was a fighting in Kmo, and we lost uh, contact with the party. And then I joined uh, the educational uh, institution, uh, becoming a teacher. Then there was an uh, integration, and Ian Sari uh, defected first. Later on, Son Sen also surrendered, Son and my children rendu. went to their aunties, and at that time, Mirmut, Mut, under the supervision of Tamok, evacuated uh, people to the refugee camps. And uh, I then worked for the American refugee organization called ARC. Prise en charge des réfugiés qui s'appelait l'ARC. Then uh, there was a, a repatriation process. Uh, then we came back and I was uh, met uh, by journalists, uh, including Nick uh, Dunlop. And later I was arrested. Uh, and detained et at the military court. Et, euh, au tribunal militaire. I was detained by the military court on the 8th of May 1999. 1999.
And I reported uh, about this already to the co-investigating investi judges, judges of the military court, uh, the full account uh, of uh, my work until the day I was arrested by the court, the military court. The President, uh, thank you. Then it is now an appropriate time to take uh, the adjournment. Uh, we will take the adjournment now. Nous arrêterons là pour aujourd'hui. The chamber will resume. L'audience reprendra on the 31st of uh, August 2009 at 9 a.m., which is next week. La semaine prochaine. On Monday, the chamber is going Lundi, to hear the testimony of two experts. Deux experts. And as scheduled, uh, we're going to hear these two experts uh, for one day, for one full day, and, une uh, uh, and a half day. Et une Mr. Journée. François Roux, I note uh, you're on your feet. Uh, you may proceed. Oui, Monsieur le Président, pour deux yes, choses avant Mr. Que President, vous nous two points before we adjourn. La première, the first, nous uh, la we would like to inform the Chamber that uh, the defense à waives du the hearing 14. of uh, witness D14. So dès I would like the Chamber to know this as of now. So D14, D14 will not come. Uh, and another point is, could the parties be informed as soon as possible of the schedule uh, that uh, the Chamber wishes to set up, in particular for uh, the pleadings? Thank you. Uh, the chamber has already informed uh, recently since uh, there has been a little bit change. Uh, the chamber Le calendrier a quelque peu waits uh, to see how we can calculate uh, the appropriate time to be allocated to the parties. But this, this, uh, this calculation of time will be notified to the parties on Monday. So parties will then be informed on how much time would be uh, granted uh, to them to question the Il s'agit des questions Witness, uh, the expert witnesses and experts, non pas des because uh, the chamber will also make a decision to calculate this time as to uh, which witness uh, expert witnesses would be put questioned by the party pour ce qui est des questions especially qui the civil posées. party so i think the time allocation will be different uh, so we will inform the party on Monday about this uh, of this uh, time allocation to put questions to the witnesses. Vous en saurez donc plus lundi. The president, uh, do I make myself clear? Que été clair, le if uh, you don't understand, you may ask uh, si Mr. Carsavut. Uh, if you don't understand, you may ask Mr. Carsavut. If you don't understand, you may ask Mr. Carsavut. If you don't understand, you may ask Mr. Carsavut. If you don't understand, you may ask Mr. Carsavut. If you don't understand, you may Cabine française, 1, 2, 3, test. Monsieur le Président. Anna Mr. President, uh, je, je crois que I believe frère, Roux, that my esteemed colleague, en fait, Mr. Roux, nous voulions nous associer à sa demande. C'est la raison hein, pour asking, laquelle je me lève. Vous demandez en fait si en plus nous comprenons que vous allez venir um, très rapidement avec that 
Um, avec the, uh, une indication sur le temps an indication in terms pour chaque partie, time, je crois que ce que M. Roux vous demandait également, c'est si possible, que was parce que plusieurs d'entre nous uh, devront uh, s'absenter du pays à partir de septembre et auront d'autres um, obligations ailleurs, et ça nous aiderait, je sais que vous travaillez dessus, mais ça nous aiderait vraiment this, considérablement s'il si pouvait nous être indiqué le plus rapidement possible quand en octobre nous sommes censés revenir, je crois que c'était le supposed to return in October, and I believe that that is what Mr. Wu was asking, and I am on my feet because I fully support his request. The president, the chamber has tried very hard during the last few days due to this necessity. That's why sometimes we had to postpone the hearing in order to discuss those urgent issues. And from my recollection, we agreed yesterday already. And I, as the president of the chamber, have already signed that document. And it has been emailed to parties to the proceedings. You should check your email. Mr. President, just Mr. Dismail, Mr. President, another question just to clarify regarding uh, Monday and Tuesday Vous avez parlé hearing. De you spoke indeed about uh, questioning two expert si witnesses. I would like to know if they're going to be a question together or successfully, uh, and also successively, correct interpreter, questions. and how much time will be given to the parties uh, to put questions uh, to them. Thank you. The president, the chamber has also considered this matter extensively, but the chamber has not received any clear information yet regarding the true expert testimony. It is also depends on their choice of how they want to provide their testimony, either jointly or individually. Que leur témoignage se déroule en simultané ou bien successivement. Si ces personnes le souhaitent, ce sera un rapport individuel. 
si elle décide d'être entendue en même temps, so the chamber would like to give the opportunity to get further uh, information from the two experts regarding their testimony and their choice, or whether they have any specific requests in providing their testimony, and then the chamber will consider that request. And the time allocation will be provided to parties to the proceedings tomorrow by email, so that you have the ability to have ample time to make your questions ready for the two experts. Parer en conséquence les questions que For vous souhaitez poser aux deux issues. experts. Pour ce qui est des autres questions qui ont été posées, And, uh, we have nous avons déjà And for instance, in the case that the defense, defense counsel waived the right to hear the testimony of the D14, then we could use that allocated time for something else for our proceedings. Parole de la défense, nous pouvons utiliser ce temps à bon escient et le proposer. So then the schedule cannot be fixed. On ne peut pas parler ici d'un calendrier ou d'un programme gravé dans la pierre. Cela dépendra de la situation telle que se présentera dans la réalité. Contact and make the arrangement for the, any precise information regarding the testimony of the two experts, whether they want to provide their testimony jointly or individually, and we will inform you later on in due course. They have provided certain information, but the information provided so far is not yet complete. And the chamber will try its best to find a solution to this issue. Nous avons encore besoin de compléments d'information et vous tiendrons informés par le biais des personnes concernées des de ces décisions. The president, the security guard, take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back to the chamber on Monday morning. I speak before 9 a.m. The hearing is now adjourned. Dans le prétoire d'ici 9 heures, lundi matin, l'audience est levée.